couple of, a couple of uh, helicopter carriers here to our left, number two, USS Essex. Should we get just one of those here? No, because I have not And number four, USS Boxer. Stop it. These helicopter carriers carry about 1,900 battle-ridden marines, biggest small craft, combat craft, 1469, dual rotor helicopter, 53 super sea stallions, the largest helicopter in the military. And uh, added, really added to the flavor of the motor off spray. And of course, the carrier jump ship, the cargo aircraft that takes off and vertically. So back into that ship, folds down. And they're able to launch or recover battle ready marines and do the salt craft and cover craft. No, it's going around. No, it's not done this. No. Keep doing it. By the way, folks, it's every single warship that you're looking at here is an active oh, warship God. ready to go out at a moment's notice. You do not have the bump bump for San Diego. Directly off of our bound, about eight miles, a completely different country, folks. That is not the U.S. anymore. That is downtown Tijuana, Mexico. It's very close to the U.S.-Mexican border. You might have noticed the red channel markers during our cruise. The green and red channel markers are navigational aids that let mariners know where they may may not go. Naval ships must stay in the channel in order to navigate safely. About 15-20 yards off of our bow, there's only about 5 to 7 feet of water. So these ships have to stay in the channel where it has been dredged throughout the years in order to navigate safely. Directly ahead of us is the Silver Strand. That's, a, that's what connects the city of San Diego to Coronado, making Coronado not a true island, but a peninsula. And you can also see the tip of Flight right off of our port bow. Oh my god. About our 11 o'clock position. The tip of Flight Lola 